Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Cook here, aka Bonky Kong, aka the Lonely Achievement Guide, and we are continuing our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu playthrough here. We have reached Vermilion City and uh we ran over to the uh Pokemon Center and talked to everyone and now we're gonna explore the city i'm pretty sure we have to just head over to the boat but let's see uh, probably gonna be 70s sixty pokemon that's not too bad actually ssn is in the harbor right now if you're new to training pokemon you should give my place a little visit it's an empty house but i've rented it so people can use it as a place to gather and share tips so it's a drug house. You know, you have a better chance of pe catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not a guaranteed catch, of course. Aim for the center when the ring is small. I hear that's the trick when throwing Pokeballs. <laughs> the last was talking to him the whole time. When the ring's color is green, it means that Pokemon... That Pokemon is easy to catch, right? And when it's yellow, it's a bit harder, but when it's red, it becomes super hard. What do you think? I fed a Nanab berry to a wild Pokemon, and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. It stopped jumping around, so I was able to aim with my Pokeballs easily. Okay, we learned all of those tips. What do we got on this side? Is that guy with his Machop still? This is my land. All of it. I own everything in this square area here. I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can build something here. This is a weird, like, time travel. Because this is all the same as when the original game happened. But the rival from the original game is now walking around like we're normal. Going on the same adventure, but everything is still the same. I get so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from ocean sludge and sometimes my armpits. Not sweat, I guess. Oh. My apologies, then. What do we got? I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner Ducks here are going to go catch a Spearow soon. I could give you a Spearow. For your Ducks. I don't think that deal is too far-fetched. Eh? Eh? Which Pokemon do you prefer? Growlithe or Meowth? Well, I am a cat person, but I prefer Growlithe. Ooh, we could ride on its back? The Pokémon Fan Club! Did you look at my Pikachu's adorable tail? No, I have my own Pikachu. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals cute when I hug it. Chairman is very outspoken when it comes to his opinions about Pokemon. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very pu fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? I sure did. Give me a bike. Oh, you see, my favorite Rapidash is the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart. It's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you stop to look at it, don't you think so? Oh, yes. Its looks are so stunning, and its heart is so kind. You can't help but love it. And when you hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Plus, it looks spectacular, of course. Oh, and it's simply ravishing when... Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. That's not a bike. Pikachu set. costume set that you can use to dress up like your partner Pokemon. Oh, wait. I can look like Pikachu? Hold on. Egg? 
Uh, clothing trunk. Choose an outfit for Bonky Kong. Pikachu cap. Outerwear. Pikachu top. Pants. Pikachu pants. Shoes. Pikachu shoes. Bags. Pikachu bag. Okay. Can't really see the bag. There we go. Okay, it's not a bike, but I'm super cute now. Do I not fish in this? I thought that fisherman was supposed to give me a rod. Some Pokemon don't just want to talk with you. Some would rather give their trainer a ride. I bet it would be pretty great to take a ride with a Pokemon that could swim across the water or fly through the air. I bet it could, but that's a pipe dream from the future. Thing, this thing here isn't for resting your feet on, you know. It's for tying up your boat. That's why there's three of them in this small space. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the north. It's the only way to get in, apparently. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SS Anne someday. I could make new friends all over the world. We should have given her the... ticket, not her... Our rival. Let's check out the mart. There are always people to talk to. There are wicked people out there who use Pokemon to do awful things. Stealing other Pokemon, selling them for ridiculously high prices, you want to know where these bad folks all gather? Team Rocket. That's where. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. That is quite the sprite. Or character. Okay, hey, well, that's the SSN. I'm not ready to go there yet, but I don't know if we can go over here. Will let us go over there. It was dug entirely by Diglett. That's true. I think we're going to do the boat, because there's a few things we need cut for before... Uh, we can do anything else, so. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion Port just once a year. Welcome to the SSN, but not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young lady? I'm a Pikachu. I can go wherever I please. Flashed your ticket. Yep, that'll do. Welcome aboard the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest. So here you go. It throws me in the water. Ooh, I got a sailor set? I kind of want to wear the sailor set. Hold on. Oh, that's... okay. I was trying to figure that out. We're gonna stick with the Pikachu shirts. Okay. We're gonna be all mismatched. Do we just go straight to the boat? Aw, where's the truck? Where's Mew? Okay, we're on a boat. Don't you ever forget. Oh, there you are, Bonky Kong. 
Thanks again for the ticket. This ship is huge and it's full of trainers. Bonjour. If it isn't Bonky Kong and Fluffy. Didn't think I'd be seeing the two of you here. Hey, Baloo. Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. I got invited to the exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with this scene. I got plenty of party favors too. Here, I can even share one with you. Shalur Sable? Wow. More importantly though, you want to know what I overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? Seriously? You must be fearless or something, kid. Anyway, the point is this. Team Rocket is a dangerous group. They're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after. And you two'd better stay out of their path. Just like I did when I was a kid. Smell you later. Ooh, are all the ship's rooms on the f top now? You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? Oh, is this our room? I'm glad everyone is looking refreshed and chipper now. Oh, I'm sorry for fussing over you. It's just because you look like my little sister. Sister! We found our long-lost sister! Wait. Wait. Garbage! Nothing. I was always a huge fan of leftovers. Hello, gentle sir. You insolent pup. How dare you barge in. I mean, he's not wrong, but also maybe you should lock the door. There's the growlith we know and love. Gentlemen always have a growlith. Zippy zap. No. Of course. I wish I could heal my burns with sheer determination. Zippy zap zappy. Level twenty three. You rude child, you have no sense of courtesy. Got 2160 for winning. Three Pokeballs. Ah, let me take your stuff. Oh, you have nothing in the garbage either. What do you got in here? Nothing. Staying in bed doing nothing during my much awaited cruise trip. Ah, uh, what a luxury. I agree. The outdoors are scary. Just stay inside. Oh, I don't want to go down yet. We're going to explore some more. Team Rocket, huh? Bunky Kong, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me. I would, but no one's taught me how to use a phone yet. Passengers are restless after being out to sea so long. You might get challenged to battle by some of the really bored ones. Waitress, yes, you, waitress, I need a slice of cake. The finest custard cake you have. No. Or I should have said, okay, I'll be right back, don't you worry. That's a wiggly tough. I always travel with Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. World Cruise is so elegant and nice. Where's Wigglytuff gonna sleep? Also, seriously. How did humans survive? I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Aww. 
Beauty Nikki. You got a Pidgey? I mean, just because a Pidgey exists everywhere where in the world doesn't mean it's exotic. Ooh, a Pikachu. Yep, we're gonna switch. Kruger's gonna make a look-see here. Run! That's adorable. We're gonna take you down. Ooh, that could be that could be troublesome. I hope we hit. Yeah, this could be. Okay, we hit. Sweet. That was it. I went around the world with these. Oh, I didn't even see the kid over there. I love Pokemon, do you? Pokemon? Youngster Tyler. Ooh, a Mankey. Go Zippy Zap. Zappy. Wow, you're great! Why does he look so... like, terrified? Ah, we're cruising around the world, my children and I! Check the garbage. Always check the garbage. Pokemon taught me that. An agent for the international police. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to no g or nothing good. I should rip off my shirt and reveal the Team Rocket shirt. Mwahaha! <laughs> Bonjour, I am Le Waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, Le Strong Silent Type. Très bien. Yes! Kitchen! Okay. Tiny mushroom. Oh, don't do this to me. Hum de hum de ho. I peel spuds every day. Hum hum. Have you heard about Snorlax? It's a real glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can. Snivel. Sniff. Only good to peel onions, snivel. <clears throat> uh, indeed, I am le chef. Le main course today is my flavorful whirl whirlpool sushi. Though les guests, le guests may complain that it's fish yet again. Super repel. Leftovers. No. Do leftovers not exist in this? I'll never forgive them. You there, ma petite. We're busy here. Out of the way. Shoo shoo. Have you ever wondered about these silver domes we put on top of the food? They're called cloches? They keep hot dishes from cooling. So busy. I'm getting dizzy. You have to give me room here. I am upset. Where are my leftovers? This is ridiculous. Good money to get leftovers. 
Okay, I got these for free, but still. The ship, she's a luxury liner that Pokemon trainers the world over love to get a ride on. Every time we pull into port, we have a fancy party and invite all the best trainers to attend. Okay. Leftovers. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like that one. It was massive. A huge round Pokemon. Check out what I fished up. Is it garbage? Fisherman Dale. I don't know. Might be pretty tough to beat this one. I'm all out. That was all you fished up? Magikarp? I have a Magikarp and I don't even have a fishing rod. Small trees can be chopped down by the masterful secret technique. Chop down. <laughs> that insightful bit of commentary. I've seen Pokemon fairy people across the water. I really have a Lapras. I used Lapras my one of my first runs. But uh, again, Gyarados. And honestly, Lapras didn't have a lot of uses early on. Lapras might now, but... Ooh, Ponyta. We got Kruger in here to get that type advantage. I thought ground resisted fire. The more you know. <laughs> I love I love Pikachu hanging onto our shoulder watching. Sir Seal Seer Sir Seal. Good match. Ah, I feel young again. But we're gonna get a Charmeleon. Congratulations! Your Sir Seer evolved into a Sir Seer! Yay! A fights could excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out bluish-white flames. Three feet tall and 44 pounds and can breathe fire. Yeah, humans. Humans shouldn't exist in this world. Humans should have died a long time ago. What do you got? Which do you find to be more worthy? A strong Pokemon or a rare one? Well, in general, the rare ones tend to be strong, too. Unless you're talking about level. Ooh, Sandshrew. That's bad for Pikachu. So, we're gonna go get us some Poison Ivy. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get tired of that. What time we got? We're just approaching our 30 minutes. I think after this fight, we'll head back and heal.
need to get Ivysaur a better attack, although Sandshrew does have good defense. I think Vine Whip is physical. In all honesty, Venusaur might not might not make our final cut. We'll have to see. Grass and water uh, overlap quite a bit, so having both of them represented is a bit redundant. That's just mean. It was quite the battle. Eat it, Lamar! Oh yeah, you better salute me. I am the dominant ten-year-old. Well, give me this Pokeball. Got a nugget. Pikachu's tail was going crazy. I wonder if that was because of the Pokeball. I don't know. We're gonna head back. Go heal up, and we will return in the next part of our Let's Go Pikachu playthrough. Where we rub the back of the seasick captain and get cut. Or, I'm sorry, chopped down. It's no longer cut. Wonder why that is. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Progress saved. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of this part of our Let's Go Pikachu playthrough. We will continue exploring the ship in the next part. If you have any questions or comments for me, let me know down below. If you don't, like, share, subscribe, and check out my website. And if nothing else, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys next time.